what are you doing in my fridge? What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle and I'm drinking a protein shake because I'm just so fit. No, I'm kidding, I'm not. But I did, I did go to Soul Cycle this morning and I was so proud of myself. I went to a Drake themed class. So like, of course it was, I was gonna be there. Like if there's a Drake themed class, just DM me and I will go with you. These things are so good. They're a great post-workout source of protein. They literally taste like chocolate milk shakes or chocolate milk. They taste like chocolate milk. Welcome back. We're gonna do one of my favorite videos to film on this channel. And that is a weekend in my life, but not just any weekend in my life. This is like vlogging like you're on my close friends, vlogging like you're on my private story, like, like we're on FaceTime kind of vibe. Maybe I'll call it that, like vlogging like we're on FaceTime. I think that's cute. Maybe I'll switch it up. It's Friday. I need a sip of this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, I have so many beverages over here. I just finished doing work for the day I just finished an element because I'm so dehydrated. It's so hot in New York right now I have a water of course and then I was also drinking a cup of coffee, but that's done now So there's a lot of beverages happening one thing about me if it's sunny outside and there's a UV of Seven or higher and I am available to go outside. I'm gonna because I don't self tan in the summer. I try so hard not to. Sometimes I'll self tan my face or like if I have an event, like I'll definitely do it up, but I'm trying to like keep up with my tan and Brooke and I are doing a super exciting event tomorrow. We're doing a live podcast taping and meatpacking. I'm literally so excited. And I'm wearing a pink dress and I need to look cute and tan. So with all that being said, oh my God, I didn't even make my bed. That's crazy. I always make my bed, but I like went to an 8 a.m. Soul Cycle class. Like, I'm sorry, I woke up at 6.45, that was just too early. My bathing suits are up here and I need to get them. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to, I think West, <laughs> hello. I think I'm gonna go to West Side Highway for like two hours and sweat my balls off. <laughs> but it'll be worth it because I just love the vitamin D. I want sun. I'm just wearing a little black bikini. I'm assuming there's gonna be other fellow city goers there because it's a beautiful sunny day. It's really hot but I'm prepared to sweat. And then tonight I'm going to the Braves versus Yankees game with Ryan, his sister, and some other people, which is exciting. Cause like I grew, I grew up a Tampa Bay Rays fan. Then I went to Georgia and everyone was Braves fans. And I'm like more of a Braves fan than I am Tampa Bay Rays. But then also like here we go to Yankees games and we were literally just at a Yankees game. But now we're going to a Yankees game and wearing like Braves stuff. So feels a little weird. Wow, my room is a mess, but it's prime sunlight right now. So I would rather clean later. So I'm gonna put on my bathing suit and we're gonna trek over to the West Side Highway. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the pier with the grass or the new beach. The only thing is sometimes I don't want sand. Updates to come on that, but let's go. I literally got ready so fast. I just threw on this little black sundress, black bikini. I packed myself a little like snack <laughs> to cottage cheese and I'll show you guys when I get there. Uh, it was very wholesome. And then I'm just wearing some sandals, brought my sunscreen, of course. We're gonna go with a little sun. Wow, am I so excited. And I brought water, like I brought all the things so I'm not miserable while I'm out in the sun. It's so pretty out. I mean, it's so hot, but like, we love it, we love it. I have parked myself right here on the beach. I really like it. I like it better. I mean, obviously you get sandy, which is annoying, but I do like it because the Hudson River part, like the pier with the grass, you can't hear the waves breaking against the, like the shore. So I actually do like that because if you close your eyes, you really feel like you're at a beach and there's more of a breeze here. I mean, there's definitely a breeze over there too, but like, I don't know. Feels more like a beach. Some people hate this, but I'm personally a fan. I don't know if it's the Florida girl in me or what. Brought my Kopari glow oil. Summer Friday shade drops. Already so hot. And oh, this is my, <laughs> I brought cottage cheese, a spoon and a banana for when I get hungry because you don't want to get hungry out here. Finishing up my protein shake and I also have water. So that's the vibe. Hey guys, I'm talking to you from my beach bag because I'm too nervous to vlog right now. I don't know, I, I pick and choose when I'm in the mood to vlog in public and right now I'm like, ah, it's time for my snack. I just FaceTimed my dad and Delaney while I was sitting here, so I got bored. Hopefully this is still kind of cold. Got my snack here. It's 2.20, getting a pretty good tan in I think. Nothing like cottage cheese at the beach, am I right? Yummy. Okay, tanning is done. I was here for two hours. One hour in, I was like, am I gonna make it another hour? But we did. Now I'm gonna head home and shower and chill. I'm really happy, but this man like came next to me and was blasting his music. I was like, buddy, can you put in some, some 
headphones. Like, it's just rude to everyone else. And it wasn't music I liked either. If it was music I was vibing with, of course, but whatever. No complaints. It was really nice. Okay, let's check for tan lines. We're back. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna take a long shower. It's gonna be nice. I just got a package in the mail from Show Me or Mumu, and I'm sorry. This dress is so good. I love it like really sits really nicely here with the straps. It kind of just looks like a really long skirt, I guess, but I just love it. Like shells for the summer. This is perfect for the Hamptons. I'm going to Florida, has pockets. Like I've been obsessed with just wearing long flowy dresses. I feel so feminine <laughs> and cute and this definitely makes me look tan. So I'm really happy about that, but just thought I would show you guys. I just showered. I'm not washing my hair because I'm going to a baseball game and it's just going to be so hot and I'm going to wear a hat and then like straighten my hair. So that's my little hack because it doesn't matter what up top looks like. I just want like my hair down to look good. I actually do need to figure out what I'm going to wear because we're leaving in like two hours. So actually a random thought I had. Can you guys comment down below when you're chilling at home and you don't want your hair on your face like what do you do with your hair? Because as soon as I get home, I throw my hair up. Like, it doesn't really affect my hair either. I can take it down and I brush through it. I just use, like, silk scrunchies and stuff. But, like, I feel so, like, not cute. I hate having my hair in my face when I'm at home. Like, I'm not just walking around my apartment with my hair down. If you watch my vlogs, you know that. But, like, do, you, do we wear headbands? Sometimes I do that. Do you put clips in your hair? Sometimes I put rollers in my hair just so, like, my front pieces are out of my face. Like, I get so overstimulated. I don't know what it is. So, comment down below. Or am I, like, just crazy? I just tidied up. You probably wouldn't even notice, but for me, it's huge. This area used to be so just cluttered. And I mean, it still is like, clearly I, I need a landing area. I don't know. Like this is just my landing area. However, I like put all these, like I had so much shit right here. So I like put them in three different bags. I don't know. We're going to roll with it, but I'm about to make my favorite salad, which I feel like I've bored you guys with enough, but it's the, what is this called? Good Seasons Italian dressing. Pecorino Romano cheese. This sliced pepperoncini honestly makes it. This Whole Foods Italian salad mix, which is basically like romaine. Onions, I'm going for red onions right now. And then pulled rotisserie chicken. It's so filling, it's so good. I literally have never looked forward to a salad until I started making this salad. Usually I would add tomatoes too, but Actually, not usually. Half and half. I get lazy to cut them up. Like, this is just so easy because it's all stuff that I just throw in. Like, I buy pre-cut onions. Judge me. But you know what? That way I eat them. Otherwise, they just rot in my produce bowl. So, these things don't because I cut up an avocado. I eat the apple. I eat the banana. But you know what I mean, right? This is the finished salad. And I'm going to eat it and watch YouTube videos because YouTube is greater than everything. And I love watching YouTube while I eat lunch in particular. You know it's real when I'm drinking caffeine. I'm drinking a Coke. This is like my favorite thing to do. It's so refreshing in the summer. Whenever it's the weekend and I'm done with work for now, I don't want to see my computer. So I put it on my chair. And then I tuck it in. It's the little things, you know? So that when I first walk in, or actually usually I put it on the, the back chair. But so that when I first walk in, I'm not, I don't see it. It's just nice and clean. It's the weekend. Woo! It is time to start getting ready because we're going to a Yankees game or Braves game, however you want to freeze it. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a Yankees fan. I live in New York now. Don't mind my hair extensions. Oh, my God. Um... However, when I went to University of Georgia, we went to a ton of Braves games. It was like sorority date nights, fraternity date nights, or like obviously Ryan was just a huge fan, so we would go to Braves games. They were so much fun because the games were at this place called The Battery. It was just like a ton of bars and restaurants. It was just a really fun time. So I actually know a lot about the Atlanta Braves. Anyways, clearly I'm caffeinated. Do you hear how fast I'm talking? They are playing the Yankees tonight, which is really exciting. Last year, we went to a Braves... Let me get my hat. We went to a Braves... Mets game, which was fun, but a Braves Yankee game like that's even more fun. I think I'm excited So I've got my Braves hat somewhere in here I Organized my hats and belts the other day. Can you guys tell I got these things? I am so obsessed They're just like so good. I think I need to get a third one. I don't know if it would fit in there um But they just showcase your belts very nicely. So we're gonna be styling this hat today <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, super serious. This is the hat I'm wearing and I must build an outfit around it. Praying I don't get booed for wearing a Braves hat. I think we're gonna go to Billy's before, which is a really fun bar, but like it's a Yankees bar, but it's so fun. So I hope, but like I gotta, I gotta wear the Braves hat today. Um, in my head, of course, I'm just thinking white tank and jeans, you know, like girl next door vibes. I also kind of reorganized down here a little bit. I had all of my blazers on this side, but I only, I don't wear a lot of blazers or light jackets in the summertime. So I moved a ton of them back there where I can't really see it. So I could have like more of my like blouses here. So I have like black, white color or stuff. This a gold day tank is always so freaking cute. Like it snatches, it looks so good. So we're gonna pull that <laughs> as a select. I like to pretend I'm a stylist sometimes. It's really fun. And then we have this a gold day one that's like a high neck. Also gonna pull that. I have this from local European, but nah, nah, nah. If I wanted to lean into the blue and be very Americana, I have these really cute comfy shorts from Abercrombie. I have like three or four colors of these shorts now because they're so cute. But I don't know, is that too like proper? I don't know, maybe I could try them on. I also organized in here the other day. You probably can't tell, but it was really crowded. <laughs> I just love my jeans from Park. They're so cute. But am I gonna die of heat? But that is so baseball. I think I'm leaning to, like that, I haven't tried it on. I can maybe add a belt. Like that just looks very baseball. Gotta pick a bag. I don't think you need clear bags at this place, yeah. No, you don't. I actually kind of love like this brown moment. Could be cute. That's an option. Or this bag is just like easy and it's a shoulder bag. So I'm not gonna get dressed till after I do my makeup, but wow, <laughs> I need to like clean this bag. It used to be like stark white and now it's like, it has like self tan on it and stuff, ew. Maybe this will be the moment. I feel like that looks so nice. Okay, well, we'll decide on that later. Then I'm just gonna do sneakers with it. Do I wanna do a belt? I don't even know. No, because now the belt would have to match the bag. No, and I, those aren't a perfect match and that's gonna bother me. <laughs> I don't think I have a belt that's right for that and that's okay. And that is okay. Okay, pivoted to this shirt from Cuts. I feel like it just made it look more complete. I kind of looked like I was wearing just like a muscle tank. Like I wasn't giving off model off duty. Like I wanted to be, but I wasn't. So we have this Cuts T Park Jeans Reebok Sneaks. This hat, I usually wear Drucker hats, um, but this is like the Braves hat that I have and I feel so funny. Like it squeezes your head. Um, but I do like this bag from Paul N with it. I do. And then Rainy's Brown. Amazon sunglasses, uh, Jenny Bird earrings. But I'm trying to decide, do I need a belt? Here we are back with the belt thing. The only belt that could potentially work is this, but it, this is suede and this is leather and that's bothering me. But like, I, I don't think, it kind of looks good in the camera, but in person they're two different colors. And my hair is definitely stressing me out. I mean, it's not that deep, but I often will do, look how bad I need to cut my hair. <sighs> I don't want to, I've worked so hard. Like, I feel like it just looks bad. Like, that just look. I don't know if I've been wearing my extensions more. So I notice when my hair's not with the extent. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know down below what I should do. I'm not cutting my hair short again. I'm not. But sometimes, or oftentimes, I wear my hat like this. Maybe this is the vibe for this outfit? Question mark. And then you can see the earrings more, and then that's more of a moment. The sunglasses and the bag. I'll probably change my mind like halfway through. I'll just like keep changing. I also don't like have any jewelry or any rings on, but like once again, it is a baseball game. I could wear this bracelet just to feel something. Really struggling with the hair. My hair is just like kind of blah today. Here's the final fit. It's literally a baseball game. It's literally a baseball game, but I'm so excited because I'm going with Ryan and his sister and her boyfriend. So double date, be really fun. See, this is like we're on FaceTime because I'm like, what should I wear? But tonight's gonna be an early night for me. <laughs> she says this now. No, actually, I probably will partake in some drinking, like a drink or two, even though when I do that, I'm like, why? Because I don't even feel it. Unless I have cocktails, but it's hard to get cocktails at stadiums. There's like only a few areas you can get a cocktail. Like beer, like I, I drink beer literally for the taste. Like I barely feel it. Unless I have like a thousand and I don't really care to have that many. I just want like one cool crisp beer. Anyways, you guys are like, I do not care because tomorrow morning I have to wake up at 6.30 in the morning to start hair and makeup for Brooke and I's 
Fresh Beauty live pop-up event. I'm so excited. I'm like nervous no one's gonna come. We literally only were able to announce the event yesterday, as in Thursday, because, and then today is Friday and tomorrow's the event, which is Saturday, because it's literally outside in meatpacking and the NYPD like wouldn't let us announce it until a few days before, which totally makes sense because they wanna be careful and like they don't want huge crowds, you know. The gals bring crowds, which I do understand. Like if we had announced it weeks ago, maybe people would have potentially driven in, which would have been so nice, but I get it. They want it to be like a little bit more chill, but also I wanna like impress everybody and like have people there. So hopefully some gal pals are coming tomorrow. I'm excited, but I'm just stalling. So I'm waiting for Ryan to get here to pick me up. Pick me up, he's just walking to my apartment and then we're going to the train, but Yankees game bound. I'm feeling good about the hair buying the ears. It just feels more me. It feels like the outfit's more complete. And I'll see you at the ball game. You excited? It is so hot down here. Truly. It's so funny seeing Ryan stressed about the train. Because he's, he's like, where's the train? Where's the train? Because it's like a sporting event. So it's like, where is it? Whereas I'm like, this is the spot. Ryan's excited. This is a very long hot dog, and honestly, I'm so happy because I feel like hot dogs aren't very filling, so at least this is bigger. I got a Sprite, because why not? Or it's called a Starry. I don't understand this new thing, Starry. Doing the YMCA. Apparently they're about to do the YMCA. Hey, we're back now. I haven't taken my hat off. Ryan tried to take my hat off and I was like, literally don't you dare because I just know. Okay, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's not good. It's not good. Oh my God, it's fine. You know, like when you've been wearing a hat all day though and you take your hat off and it's like, oh my God, put the hat back on. We got stuck, not actually, but on the subway on our way to the stadium for like, it wasn't that long, but it felt so long because we were all packed like sardines in there waiting, like everyone there was going to the game. It was so hot. Anyways, there was a hold up on all the trains because our friends were on the cart that this happened. Apparently, it's <laughs> so funny, but it's like not. I mean, it is funny. This guy kept pulling the emergency brake and finally they had the police come like down to the train and the guys, the policemen were like, bro, like why do you keep pulling the emergency brake? And he was like, they're my snake. It's stuck under my seat. And they were like, what? And he pulls two like huge snakes out of his backpack. My friends literally saw it with their own eyes. And they were like, are you even allowed to have something like that? And so he's like, I got my snake permit and he held up a snake permit. And they're like, so what's the problem? Why do you, there's your snakes. And he was like, no, my baby snake, it's stuck under the seat. I can't get it. So he kept pulling the emergency brake to have someone help him, which I was like, honestly, like snakes are so scary, but I was thinking about this baby snake. Like, oh my God, it was, just, it was also just so wild. So that's New York for you. So that's why there was so, like the trains couldn't go because this, this guy kept pulling them. Anyway, I am so tired and Ryan was gonna sleep over, but when I informed him that I had to get up at 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday, he was like, I kinda wanna like stay up and watch a movie. And I was like, I know. And I can't be that for you tonight. I need to go to bed and wake up and like, I don't wanna have to make him get up in the morning, so but he's gonna come to our live show tomorrow, so I'm excited. I really am like nervous. I, Brooke and I have been texting, I'm like, I hope someone comes. But I'm so excited, my outfit is so cute. We're wearing pink, cause Fresh Beauty is like pink. I'm like, did I lock my door? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna take a shower because I need to. I think I'm gonna do a ponytail tomorrow because it is so hot, but I can't really see, but this is my dress. It's from House of CB, of course, because House of CB is perfect and everything is so flattering. Um, so I'm wearing that and I have to decide. Brooke said I think she's gonna wear pink heels, but I don't know. I feel like this is a little too much, but also I literally bought these for like when I'm wearing pink. 
So I could do my Pradas or these shoes are really comfortable. They're white platforms. So that'll be a tomorrow decision. I do have to figure out my jewelry too. But I'm excited. It feels like Christmas Eve. I'm really pumped because we're doing a meet and greet after. I'm excited to meet you guys and see who's... The real ones are people that come on Saturday mornings. Like, we'll see. Like, I feel like some people are going to be hungover rolling in. And, like, that's what the gals want. We just all want to hang out and have a good time. So, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to wash my hair. Like, I feel gross. Even though I hate going to bed with wet hair. But, like, I don't want to wash my hair in the morning. It's so aggressive at 6 in the morning. Because I'm starting hair and makeup at 7 a.m. And I wasn't going to get my hair done. But I was like, you know what? This is an exciting thing, and I'll just feel 10,000 times better if I get my hair and makeup done. Because we'll be taking so many photos from so many different angles. And then the plan is me, Delaney, and whoever else will, like, go out tomorrow night and go to... Or I don't know about going out, but go to dinner. Because this weekend, the Braves are in New York all weekend playing the Yankees. And Ryan did inform me months ago. He was like, just so you know, that weekend, I will be going to all the games. And I said, you know what? I respect it. I went to like five Drake concerts, so I support you. Um, so he'll be doing that tomorrow night. So yeah, I'm just rambling. Like we're on FaceTime. I love this. I love this style video. It's so fun. So like no pressure. I don't want to hang up. I don't want to hang up with you guys, but it's okay. I'll call you guys back in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's 6.45 in the morning. I, of course, showered and washed my hair like I said last night and... My hair's crazy right now. I need an ice roller to the face immediately. No, like literally, she crazy. She crazy. I like tried to blow dry my hair before going to bed so it wasn't soaking wet. Like this just looks so bad, but it's okay. The hairstyle I wanna do, I wanna snatch my hair back and then have a pony tail with like my hair extensions in it. So it's like a nice and voluminous ponytail I'm so excited I can't believe we're doing a live podcast in the middle of New York City like I can't believe it and it's just so cool that Fresh Beauty wanted us to be the gals to do it with them they wanted a podcast bestie duo I think so I'm very excited favorite person in the world here Miss Cat. We've got the kit, we've got the chat, and what is it from Princess Diaries? Take one, la, I give you a princess of Genovia. I can't wait to look so much better. <laughs> Yay. Hello, you. Oh! <laughs> <I'm closing. laughs> oh hello, hello, you. We got the whole gang here hello. now. Jackie's here hello. too. We're about to do his hair. I'm so excited. She brought me a sandwich, which I appreciate so much. I love scaring Brooke. <laughs> Guys, but that like, area didn't have a whole. Look how funny She's this ready. Is. I'm ready for fresh oh, food. I look like a who? Oh, <laughs> From the Grinch. I'm Cindy Lou. Oh. It's giving. Cindy We've got Kim Kardashian over here. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and Cindy Lou. <laughs> Guys, we're all ready. I'm obsessed. Look at that. I feel like Ariana Grande. Obsessed. <laughs> Bye, Jackie. Got the smoothie. Got all the things I actually have to pack, too. Okay hey guys, here's the final fit. Brooke just went down, we're about to go. House of CB, my little Prada heels, anthropology earrings, my Danielle bangle. Oh, okay. We're running lines. <laughs> no, we're going through, we're doing like a Q and A. So we're go picking like what questions you wanna do. We're in a room in the Gansport Hotel. That one's down there. I can kind of see it from here. I'm so excited. We just got here. So excited. So we're gonna be podcasting in here. I'm so many live shows but this is the first time like we're recording it so everything we say we're like all right yeah, it's out there it's out yeah. there <laughs> Thank you. 
We're back now. Oh, I feel cute. Like I literally, everyone was so nice. Like I, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And I say I feel cute because so many of you guys were complimenting me and I guess I needed that today. Sometimes, you know, you're like, you really needed the compliment. Like it felt really nice and I felt cute today. Like in the Barbie movie, like when someone compliments you, you should be able to say thank you, I feel good. Like instead of like deflecting, which I always do like, oh, but you or like what, oh, it's nothing much. However, you guys, there is this one pin in my hair and Jackie that was doing my hair, she was like trying to find it. And I, and like, if I do this, it relieves it for a little bit, but then the pin, like she was like, I don't know what pin it could be. So I've just been like going like this all day, but I want to do this hairstyle again. I think it's so cute. Like the snatch in the front, but then we've got body in the back, put some extensions in. Um, today was amazing. These types of things like fuel Brooke and I and like just remind us of how much we love Gals on the Go. How much like you guys support us. Like someone flew in literally today for this. Someone just moved to New York yesterday and so it worked out. Like it was really cool because we got to almost hit like a different group of people like girlies who don't live in New York but are summer or interns here for the summer. They're, like one girl's like I live in Seattle. I, I haven't been able to come to a show but this was just like a perfect. It was so cool. We've never done a live podcast taping though so it was like we were podcasting it was so funny because like ryan was there and stuff and like i always talk about him on the podcast i was like oh my god he's here four things though it was so hot like someone passed out <laughs> i felt so bad but she literally came to our meet and she was like i want you guys to know like i passed out but like i am here and i'm so happy i'm like oh my god <laughs> it was so hot but like they were passing out waters like no other like we were making sure everyone was good but sometimes it's just too hot so now um, I, so Ryan's going to a Braves game again tonight and I'm like, simply no, like, I mean, I, he's, he let me know, like he's going tonight, he's going tomorrow. And I, so I made plans accordingly. So Delaney and I are going to get dinner tonight and then maybe hit the town. I mean, I've got glam, I've got hair. Like I hate when I get glam and then, which is not often, but like, you know, if I know I'm getting my hair and makeup done, like I want to make use of it. So we're going to go to dinner. Oh my God. You can like see where I keep like lifting up my hair, but that's fine. Part of me was like, oh, I could take this part out and do a bun instead. But like, this is artistry right here. And people, someone said that I look like the Barbie logo, like the silhouette, like the ponytail. And I was like, I kind of know what you mean. Why do I want Chick-fil-A? Like, I think, you know what? Just did a lot of podcasts and we did a meet and greet after. I wonder how many people we met. Like, I never am good at like numbers. We did a meet and greet for like an hour. I have no idea how many people we met. Oh yeah, Chick-fil-A is 10 minutes away. I'm gonna do that. What's your guys' Chick-fil-A meal? Mine is a 12 count nugget meal. It used to be eight, but I've honestly, like I need 12. Like when I was a kid, it would be eight. First when I was a little kid, it was like six. And then I'm like, now I need eight, now I need 12. With French fries. Um, oh my God, I'm so hungry. This sounds so good. The waffle, I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a minute. I don't get Chick-fil-A a lot in the city. For some reason, I feel like it hits different when I'm like in Florida. Um, I also had caffeine today. I drank a Coca-Cola. So now I'm like, I don't want to get too comfortable because I'll get like sleepy. So I think I'm going to, I don't know. I like don't know. It's like a Saturday. All like, what am I going to do? Ryan's like going to a birthday party right now. And I was like, I don't think I'll be able to make it to that. So I think I'm going to get out of this outfit, even though I feel so precious. But like, I can't hit the town. And like, even just walking down my street when the Uber dropped me off, like I felt silly. Like I felt good when I was with Brooke. But now that I'm alone, I'm like, okay, now I need to be in like different outfit so today was so fun i literally love you guys if any of you came thank you so much like seriously means the world to brooke and i we were like both just texting like she got in her car i got mine we're texting like that was so fun so love y'all i changed into my towel wraps this is like what i sit in when i'm in between outfits this came in record time <laughs> ketchup of course i actually have ketchup in my fridge but these are kind of elite because you like peel and dip and then the nugs the nugs. I'm gonna watch TV. I like don't know what to do with myself because I've like cleaned and stuff. So I'm just gonna enjoy. I could like go outside, but it's so hot. My ponytail really hurts though. Like, I don't know what to do about it, but it looks so cute. So I'm trying so hard. Unfortunately, I can't stop touching my hair and it's just hurting more and more. I, it has to come out. Like actually I'm in pain. Whole, I don't know what hurts though. Like I don't understand what's happening. Oh, this looks so good. I'm sad. Oh, I just need this pressure point to stop. Like I actually had as Ariana Grande to do this and like, what is even going on in my hair right now? Oh, hold on, I have to get something. This thing is the best thing ever. It cuts elastics for moments like this where you're like, get it out. I'm still gonna, 
try and keep my hair slicked the way it was. So you like have to get under the hair tie and then cut it, except this is not catching. Ah! I wanna cut my real hair here. <laughs> oh, the struggle! I think I literally just cut some hair on accident. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, get it out of me. Oh, I did, I cut it. Okay, so that's like, I don't even know how she did this. She's so talented. But also, Jackie, there is so much happening. She uses these hair ties that like clip together. Like, I genuinely feel like I need to like, <sighs> I'm gonna keep this part though. We're gonna work with this for tonight. But anyways, I'll update you guys. See you in like 30 minutes probably. <laughs> I think I just cut my own hair. Like a lot of it. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> I'm so scared. I'm really scared. <sighs> I just cut my own hair and I don't know how much. I don't know. And it's hard because I was just gonna like put it back in a slick, but I kind of want to know the damage because I was using that maybe a little too aggressively. And I don't know like what. All I know is, oh my god, I'm like so scared. This is funny, but it's not. I just like brush through my hair, and it looks so gross right now. But I can't find the short pieces now. So I'm like wondering if they were like, oh, okay. I mean, there's still a short piece, but it looks like it's like on my second layer of hair. Thank God. Oh my God, I'm like never using, oh, oh my God. Where is it? Oh my God. Oh my God. I have, okay. So if I do this hairstyle again, we're gonna have to. I need to be more careful and I'm grateful that nothing crazy happened. I thought there was going to be like a whole hole, like a literal hole in the back of my hair. I'm literally using the Snapchat camera to see. Oh my God. I think we're okay. I'm not seeing any. I mean, my hair is like weird right now though. So it's hard to know until I like style it. Feeling blessed, but also like, this is so me. Like I'm not careful when I do things. So I just like, I was just trying to get it out. I mean, my head feels so much better. I love the first thing I thought of was like I have to turn on my vlog camera. Okay, well, for now, we're just gonna snatch this back up. And I'm gonna worry about this tomorrow when I wash my hair. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I've recovered a little bit. Feeling better the more I like play with my hair. I think it's like a second layer of my hair. I mean, it's still not ideal, but it could have been worse. And for that, I'm very grateful that God said, let me not ruin your ruin your day. Um, yes, I'm in the nude. I'm in a blanket. It's my favorite thing. Um, there's a tear. One little tear. I didn't cry, but I attempted to take a nap, which also never works. This is exactly what I feared, like waiting between earlier and now to like go to dinner. But thankfully, Delaney and I have a 6.45 dinner reservation, which is iconic because I don't think I could wait any longer. Otherwise, I'll just be like, Delaney, I'm out. But we're going to Beauty and Essex. I love that place. Um, let me not flash you guys oh i'm drinking an element of course these element sparkling waters have changed the game gotta hydrate because it's literally so hot and i sweat so much this morning i am now going to get up we're gonna snatch the hair back and do like a bun i'm really sad because i loved how it looked earlier but yeah we're gonna see where the evening takes us what am i gonna wear what what will i wear <laughs> the grinch if you know you know so i'm very proud of myself I did a slick and then I was like, obviously it's slicked. But it was just like a little bun in the back and I was so used to so much volume. So I did kind of like a messy updo in the back. I don't want to look at it too closely because I'm not, like I feel okay about it. Like I feel like it gives a little bit more something. Touch up the makeup. I'm wearing these ginormous earrings. I got this tank top or it's like a tube. It's like a bra and tank from Princess Polly during their Memorial Day sale and I really like it. And then I got this belt also from Orium Collective recently. You guys know I'm like Orium's biggest fan. Like I love all of their belts. I love Cass. So let me show you guys the full fit. And then I'm wearing these girlfriend denim jeans that are so great. But yeah, I love this belt. I like how it's like a long buckle. 
And then I'm wearing some flip-flop heels because it's summer. They're from St. Agni is the brand. I have another pair from Forever 21, but I'm going with these tonight. I'm happy with this look. And then I'm just doing my little black Bottega Jody. I'm so excited that little girl's night with Delaney and like debrief today because it was so nice of her to come and maybe have a drink. But since we're getting dinner so early, I'm curious to see if we end up going out. We shall find out, but I'm proud of myself for getting this together. Okay, we're going across the street to Beauty and Essex. This place is so fun. You walk through a pawn shop to get in. So funny. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much. Got my girl. Cheers. I feel like we're celebrating something like Prosecco. Always. Celebrating your life. And we're celebrating your birthday because, birthday. yes, this is your birthday dinner. Happy birthday. We're at Beauty and Essex. I freaking love this place so much. Delaney was like, this is the early bird special because it <laughs> it's still light, light out. out, which is trippy. I don't think I've ever been here in the daytime except for brunch one time. Of course, got a Moscow Mule. We're those people. So this place is like a shareable. So we made a list. Delaney made a list of everything we're going to order. So we're prepared. Wow, Guys, look Batman. at these. They're grilled cheese bites in tomato soup. Are you excited? Oh, I'm, like, I'm thinking about them. I've been thinking about them. We gotta make sure there's no one coming. It's raining, like straight up raining. We had no idea. We were so excited to stroll to our next location. Plan B. But, but plan B is we're gonna like go from place right, to place. Once these cars are done and that car is done, we'll cross and go into that awning and then we'll just awning hop. We'll awning hop. I'm ready. We have no umbrella and we're both wearing white, so. <laughs> From that side. Oh, bad no, bad timing. Ah! Back on her. <laughs> I'm following you once again. We're going to the next awning. Look both ways. Ah! Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're under the next awning now. That wasn't terrible. The next one's not for a little way. We're going from Beauty and Essex to Pretty Ricky's. It's literally a block. Oh my god, do you see the rain? Yeah, no, it's like it's, it's really way, like we it's so close that like we cannot Uber. But it's okay. ready. Ah! Like we are getting the same amount of wet as if we had just run there, but like the brakes feel like The brakes feel better. <laughs> You're so right. Like either way yeah, we're, we're gonna so we're gonna go the distance. <laughs> oh I didn't think about it. Yeah, but... Oh well, it makes me feel better. Yeah. Peekaboo! <laughs> It's like <laughs> under the trees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh shit, it's lit in here. This is where we're going. Pretty Ricky's. Ah. Guys. Bottle service. <laughs> Uh, uh, obviously that's my Grey Goose. Look how beautiful our drinks are. Table cheers. <laughs> wow. Yay! Atlanta Breeze! Yeah. I love it! Yeah! Good morning, or almost afternoon. Me and Ryan slept until 11 a.m. It was incredible. Delaney and I are going to the pool today. We're using Fashion Pass, or Fashion Pass, <laughs> Resort Pass, which is the best thing ever if you live literally anywhere. You can get day passes for like a, a day bed or a, a lounge seat at a pool, like at a resort and use their amenities and stuff. So we're doing that today. We've been so excited about it. I'm trying to pick what bathing suit I want to wear. I just got some new suits from Monday Swimwear. This one's so cute. It comes with like a little matching sarong moment. Maybe I do that. And then I have like random like cover-ups that I got from Princess Polly. I did like a big Princess Polly order, clearly. Oh my god, it's so wrinkly, but this is just like a little collared shirt. I'd have to pop it in the dryer to de-wrinkle it. I always just put like a wet paper towel in the dryer with a wrinkled shirt for like five to ten minutes and it gets everything out. So maybe I'll do, like this would be cute with that color. I bring the sarong for once we're there and put on like jean shorts. I think that would be cute. I also love this little swimmy from J. Crew, and this also is from Monday Swimwear, but I think I'm feeling that moment. I also, I fully plan on getting in the pool. We're going to this place called the William Vale Hotel in Brooklyn. I've been there before, it's so good. Um, but I had to wash my hair. I woke up this morning 
I think it's because I had like the snatch and I'm like, oh my god, it was a rat's nest. Like, I couldn't even do a slick today. So I'm gonna like blow dry it a little bit and then put it in braids. I mean, I'm literally gonna get my hair wet again, but I just like needed to do that. Oh, I could put in wave spray. Here's the little fit. I put in wave spray and I'm liking the vibes. Did this bikini Monday swimwear. This button down is from Princess Polly. I love it. I just put it in the dryer with a wet towel and boom, done. White linen pants are Abercrombie. Shoes are Dolce Vita. And I also brought a dress in case I wanna change into it after and like just not have my wet bathing suit on. Carolyn necklace, little electric pick hoops. And that's the fit. It's kind of giving, <laughs> it's kind of random, honestly, but it's comfortable and it's Sunday. I'm sorry, this is iconic. We have our own little day bed here. It's a beautiful sunny day. It was initially cloudy and I got nervous, but sun came out. I love this so much. Yay! Update, we're here. The gals got their hair wet. Feels amazing. We just ordered some chips and guac, some salads. Fun fact, I get us, anytime I get a Caesar salad, I get it with like vinaigrette instead because I don't like Caesar dressing. But it's so you nice. Dumped. What? You dumped and I didn't even know. I dumped. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I posted an Instagram dump and Delaney's like, wait, am I still recording? I posted an Instagram dump and Delaney didn't know. Like, I just kind of did it. So, that's true. Like, normally if you're with your friend posting, it's like, like I'm, gonna I'm, I'm gonna post, like letting you know, but I just kind of like phantom posted. And Delaney goes, oh, you dumped. <laughs> and at first I was like, what? But I understand what she means now. There's so many people here right now. We all have the same idea. It got really packed. Of course, darling. Some water for my lady. Back now. Um, <laughs> the drive back from Brooklyn to Manhattan literally made me so sick. I don't know. I, I think this is where we were coming down the Williamsburg Bridge. And it's notoriously just always traffic-y and like stop and start. I don't usually get car sick, but me and Delaney both were like, mm. So I had to come back and like lay for 30 minutes. And of course I went on TikTok. And of course I see all this about Taylor Swift bringing out Travis Kelsey on the stage. Like me and Delaney were actually unwell, like physically unwell. Our stomachs were unwell. But then like, I think maybe I started getting car sick because I was looking at my phone so much in the car. But oh my God. That is so iconic that she brought him out. Like, by the time this video is up, it's old news. But, oh my god, I'm not okay. Like, she just looks so, like, happy. And it's it makes me giddy just watching it. It's so cute. But I just took another shower. Of course, we had such a nice day out. And Ryan's on his way over. It's so trippy how it's still light outside right now. Like, it's so trippy. Um, Like, it's 7 o'clock at this point. Or maybe, no, it's like 6. I don't know what time it is. Um... But we're gonna make dinner. We were like gonna, he was like, do you wanna go to dinner? I was like, no, like I do not. Like, I just wanna like cook dinner, hang out, chill. I think I'm not gonna hit my 10,000 steps again today. On the weekends, it is a little harder sometimes for me. Like I'm just out of routine. Anywho, that's what's up. And yeah, my stomach is still like not ready for food, but I'm just, Preparing my stomach for it. Anyways, that's the update. I love my flowers. Thank you. Ryan's learning that I like neutral flowers. <laughs> or like a bright color, but like all one color. This is nice. Very good. All right, Italian music is on. Italian music. <laughs> Not Italian music, but jazz. Frank Sinatra, of course. Dinner time. We're making some chicken pasta. I have this pasta, it's quite good. And then I really wanna try the Carbone Spicy Vodka Sauce. Um, we could add a veggie too if we wanted. And then do we also want broccoli or no? I have to get it. But do we want broccoli or no? We'll consider. It reminded me that I had this little gadget here. It's a little portable grill. Got the chicken, <laughs> it's really good. Wait guys, just kidding. I was like saying to Ryan, I wish we had rigatoni cause then it's the Carbone Spicy Rigatoni. I have some from a random thing, so we're gonna make it. Guys, this is my favorite part, adding the pasta to the sauce. And we're just finishing up the chicken, we got the broccoli back there. 
Oh, New York, New York. Are we at Carbone or my apartment? What song is it called? New York, New York by um, Frank Sinatra. Yeah, it's great. It's undercover song. Oh yeah, you've heard this. <laughs> Looks yummy with our pasta. It'll be so good. And our broccoli. We could use these. Dinner is served. Dinner has been had. Now we're gonna watch Hitman on Netflix. Cause Ryan and I will literally spend so much time just on Netflix, on Hulu, like trying to figure out what to, to watch. So I just got ahead of the game and I looked up on TikTok, movies to watch with your significant other. And this was one of the suggestions and it's a new movie with Glenn Powell. So I feel like we're gonna enjoy it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little FaceTime and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.